everybody. I hope you are well. Today we are going to do healing meditation ASMR with Reiki and we are going to visit the two wells in Glastonbury, England, the heart chakra of the world. And there are two wells, a white well and a red well and we are going to go and visit them now. So before we start, I'd just like you to settle down and let the sound just going to give you these stones now, yin and yang stones, of Apache's tear obsidian and snowy quartz to hold in your hands, yin and yang for balance. And before we start properly, I'm just going to spray you with this aura spray from the chalice well. And it has essences of blue moon, chamomile, cow parsley, gog, hogweed, jasmine, snowdrops, white dead nettle, yarrow, and crystal energies from the Red Well at Glastonbury. And then show me your wrists and I'll put some frankincense on them. I'm on myself as well. Okay. 
breathe in the fragrance. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. This is your time to cleanse, clear and rebalance. So I'm just going to run the selenite through your aura, starting at your head and running down just to lift your vibrations. And then I run down your back line as well, feeling the selenite activate your energy field. And then down your side lines. Let's do that again. Down the front line. And down the back line. And down the side lines. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. Relax, relax. And I'm just going to draw the non-traditional Reiki master symbol into this. And then the distance healing symbol of a sonar. 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 From the angelic and Reiki Sacrum traditions that I do. And then the clearing. Say hey key. Say hey key and say hey key. And then we activate that chokre. 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 Okay. Start by letting the scene of the room fade away from you. And I'd like you to imagine yourself standing outside a low stone building made of Somerset stone at the side of the Glastonbury Tor, a huge, huge, prominent hill with a tower on top, St. Michael's Tower, which is a large portal, and you're standing in a tree-lined lane with water running down the middle of it, and this low stone building has a gate. A metal gate and there is a fountain coming out of the side of the wall where you can fill up your water bottle and drink the pure waters of the white well at Glastonbury and the gate is locked but up the road now comes the gatekeeper with his big set of keys and he opens the gate now and ushers you in. It is dark inside, there are nooks and crannies with candles and offerings and two pools. There is water dripping everywhere. 
and the pools have stone, low stone walls and steps leading into it. And there are stone benches around the sides. There are carvings of Gaia and goddesses and well keepers here, wreaths of flowers, crystals and lots of twinkling candles. And I'd like you to find a seat on one of the benches whilst we clear and open the chakras. So sit yourself down in this dark coloured space. And I'd like you to imagine a candle flame at your solar plexus right there and imagine this candle flame glowing and growing and push it out of yourself outwards and upwards and downwards to the front of you and to the back of you and to the sides of you pushing my hand back that's it okay good until it forms a sphere of protective energy around you. Nobody wants anything from you at this moment. Nobody needs anything from you at this moment. And just sit and breathe out. And I'd like you to imagine a red flower at the base chakra. And imagining that that chakra flower opens and spins, releasing a red energy into your fire bubble. Focusing on the crystal and sending any worries about money, your family life or your home or job into this stone. I will help you now just drawing it out and focusing on the carnelian. Okay, you may hear some noise from the other room because we're still locked down here. People are off work. Just, just lose the focus of them and focus on me. And then we move up to the sacral chakra, just below your belly button. And here is the yellow calcite put any emotional worries into, any hurts, any anxieties, any worry, any tummy aches. Again, I will use this smoky quartz and imagining an orange flower there, watch as the petals open and the center starts spinning as I remove any negative energy out. Good. And then we move up to the solar plexus where you find a yellow flower glowing and growing. It too starts to spin and you send any doubts of yourself into the orange calcite. Smoky Quartz is drawing out those doubts, self-confidence issues, and anything that dented your confidence. Okay. And then we move up to the heart chakra, where you find a green flower 
focusing on the green fluorite as I clear any heartache away. Shifting it, making ready for the new things that are going to come into your life. Okay, well done. And then we move up to the throat chakra where you find a light blue flower and focus on the blue calcite as I clear the throat to help you speak your truth. You need to clear that at the back as well. Keep focusing on the calcite, putting anything that you do not wish into there. Fantastic. And then we move up to the third eye chakra, where you find a deep indigo flower, the colour of the midnight sky. And I'd like you to focus on the peacock or as I clear this energy center, helping with your intuition and your knowing. Opening and activating this energy center as the petals open and the center spins. Opening that energy center and lastly, to the crown on top of your head where you find a violet flower opening your trust as the purple flower opens and the petals start to spin letting the amethyst clear that if you have any worries or doubts stopping your faith in whatever you wish divinity something greater than yourself, your guides, your angels. Let the amethyst clear it. Fantastic. Okay. And breathe out. I'm now going to use this angelic quartz. Beautiful angelic quartz from Brazil. Look at the light. And I'm now going to use it to direct energy down into your crown, down your third eye, throat, heart, solar, sacral and base down through your feet. I'm just going to do that again. Bringing the energy, the white light, down from the source, through your soul star at the top of you, all the way down your chakra line. Into your earth star below you and breathe out again. Peace, healing and tranquility. Feeling the peace, healing and tranquility. And just open your mind again and bring the awareness back of the white well at the foot of Glastonbury Tor. And the well keeper now brings you over a towel and tells you that you may bathe in the sacred waters should you so wish. And they tell you this is not a place to be worried or self-conscious. Just strip down to your undergarments. You notice other people are as well. 
and walk carefully because the ground is slippery up the steps and into the sacred waters of the white well straight out of Mother Earth and this is a place where two sacred wells are and we'll go to the red well in a minute just sink into the waters which reach your neck and you can sit comfortably on little ledges in the pool and you find the shell at the side a beautiful pink river clam and you scoop the water scoop it up and tip it over you scooping it up and tipping it over you nine times scooping the water up and tipping it over you. Scooping it up and tipping it over you. Scooping the water up and tipping it over you. Scooping the water up and tipping it over you. the water up and tipping it over you. Scooping the water up and tipping it over you. Scooping the water up and tipping it over you. And one last time, scooping the water up and tipping it over you. Mimicking a nine wave blessing and breathing out again and just sitting there for a moment, feeling the blessings of water, the blessings of Gaia, and perhaps the blessings of the priestesses of Avalon and the druid and the keepers of the well who would have been here for hundreds of years healing the cleansing purification of the water element and just drifting Letting the waters hold you. Feeling the tranquility of this place.
and thanking Mother Earth. And now you feel that you want to get out. So you make your way over to the steps. And you climb out and go back to your clothes and towel. dry off. Putting your clothes back on. And then on the way out, you add a coin to the hundreds of other coins that are given in donation as a token of your appreciation. And you start walking down the road, feeling cleansed and cleared and purified from the white, clear water. You make your way up the high street past the shops that you can visit later with all their crystals and musical instruments and up the hill and around the corner where you come to the Chalice Well Garden. place of the red well of iron rich water and you walk through the stone gates and at the kiosk the lady gives you a bottle and this has chalice well water in And you follow the stone pathway through the beautiful herb gardens. Through the apple orchards. Bees are buzzing, butterflies. as you make your way up to the hallowed part, one of the hallowed parts of the garden. There are little secluded places. And you come to a big tree and the wellhead itself. It is made of wrought iron and wood and has the Visica Pisces symbol on it. And there is mosses and ferns here and again stone benches around in the shade. Flowers have been left in offering, little crystals poked into crevices. And you look down through the wrought iron grating down into the waters of the well and it's a quiet and peaceful place this garden and there are other people who have come on pilgrimage in quiet contemplation perhaps saying their prayers and wishes to the goddess Gaia Bridget is also thought to have come here. And Mary Magdalena and Mother Mary 
are also well thought of in this place. So you just sit here for a few moments. If you haven't got anything for an offering, just pull out a bit of hair and leave it in thanks somewhere on the flower bed. And you follow another path. To the well tap further down the garden. Which is gushing constantly. And you hold one of the glasses there. And it fills up. And you drink the waters from the tour, from the red well, taking a good sip, feeling it trickle all the way down your esophagus into the pit of your stomach where you feel and visualize it spreading through and nourishing your body, purifying anything that is wrong. And indeed, people come here for healing and take their bottles away. Drinking again. Again, we're having nine sips this time. Four. Five. Six. Seven. you carry on walking down through the gardens, following the stone paths, past a pair of yew trees, and to a lower stone rectangle shaped pool, again with stone benches around. You take your shoes and socks off and roll your trousers up and sit along the edge with your feet in the waters of the red well of Glastonbury, the chalice well. Draining any, anything you don't want out of the holes in your feet and into the waters, the cleansing waters there, which are also replenished by a constant flow out of the earth. And the pool has channels that lead out down to another part of the garden we'll go to in a minute. So you needn't worry about polluting the pool with your emotions or sickness because it will be carried away to be dissipated within Mother Earth. And the dappled sun shines through, warming you because the water is very cold. Breathe out. And then you 
you stand up and grasp hold of the railing and climb out. Just pick up your shoes and socks and wander down following the pathway to the lower part of the garden which is a waterfall feature into a great round pool stained red and orange from the iron rich water and there is a shallow channel feeding out of the grass through the bottom of the garden where everything is channeled and this part is in bright sun there are apple trees as this is an apple rich area the priestesses used to do apple cleanses at the equinox and Somerset Cider is everywhere in this part of the world. And you look to the apple trees who have their young fruits ripening. And you just find a bench under one of the trees there are low buildings in an arc around where people can stay the night. A little shop where you can buy spritzes and other gifts and books. And you just sit here looking at the iron rich colour. Feeling the peace, feeling the healing, and feeling the tranquility of this place. The fairy energy, the druid energy. You're warming up now, and your feet are dry. And so we put our socks and shoes on and as you bend down to do this you ground, consciously ground everything into you that has happened. All of this healing water, all of this peace of a Somerset town, the heart chakra of the world. And you sigh out in contentedness as the fragrance of honeysuckle and jasmine is wafted towards you on the breeze. And wind chimes sound in the distance. And I'm just now going to leave that scene with you as you bask in the sunlight. I'm now going to separate from you the fire serpent symbol and your crown to your feet. A blessing upon you, a blessing upon your family and a blessing upon your day. Namaste.